Hello folks, it's Driver Films again on the Driver Film Shortwave channel and it must have been nearly a month ago I reviewed the Satellite AR app where you can track the satellites and the International Space Station and I didn't really rate it as a good app because if you wanted any information you had to go onto Google and it was, it was a bit time consuming because by the time you find out what the frequency of the satellite was it's gone so here is a hell of a lot better app. It kind of it works on the same basis. It uses your GPS location. It's called Heavens Above app. Uh, this is a free version. There's a paid version which gets rid of the adverts. So anyway, I'm going to take a little overview of what you get with it. Where uh, you get the live sky chart, nightly events, international space station, iridium flares, and satellites. So I'm going to go for the satellites first. And it tells me when what satellites are close by and when they're going to pass over. So today is 31st of October, Halloween. So if you're not looking at the night sky tracking satellites, look out for some private radio stations. So approaching very soon, we've got Swiss Cube, ITU P, Sat 1, B Sat, uh, NOAA 15, etc. Look for Iridium flares, which I didn't quite know what they were, I had to Google it, but basically, um, imagine my phone is a solar panel on a little satellite orbiting Earth, and when it goes to a certain angle, like that, the sun reflects off it and you get a little, looks like a little flare in the sky, it's nothing, nothing really, well, I suppose it is magical, but anyway, um, Tells you when the next lot's going to be, so 1705, Iridium 77. You can track the International Space Station, that's when it's passing over here next, which is not until half past six in the morning, I shall be fast asleep, and that's on the uh, 3rd of November. You've got a nightly event, so that's when sunset starts, twilight ends. We've got some rocket bodies going to be flying over, a couple of um, satellites. And the best part of this one is it's got a live sky chart. Let's zoom in a bit. Here. In fact, let's try and rotate the phone a bit. So you've got a live sky chart. Now there's a little, as it says here, Hold your device against the sky and orientate it so that the receptacle is over the satellite icon. This gets you orientated towards the actual satellite. So basically, if I flip this over, there'll be a little graphical circle thing. And it kind of makes it, makes it a bit difficult for me to film this video because I can't hold the camera and hold the phone at the same time. And Anyway. So, the is pointing north as it keeps moving. You zoom in a touch here, so if it was dark outside here are the um, constellations you could see. And you can quite see that, so you've got Saturn, Venus, Mars, Moon and the Sun, etc. Now here is the decent bit of it, you've got show visible satellites, well, there's none. Or you can select show radio satellites. And as we can see, we've got uh, NOAA 18 there, we've got stars disappearing off there, and there's one up there somewhere. So let's click on NOAA. Gives you the ta current time, the azimuth elevation, rises elevation, the magnitude, the downlink frequency, which I'll talk about in a moment, and the range of it. So as we can see, the numbers are going up, so it's going... It's going that way, it's going away from me. Alternatively, you can uh, swap that way. I've got the orbit. So right now it's over Norway by the looks of it. So I've totally missed it this time. Swipe again. And let's zoom in on the camera. You've got some, uh, you've got some information there. So you've got the catalogue number. Cospa ID, whatever that is, naming space track catalog. You got information on the orbit, when it was launched to by launch site. 
this is information that was on the satellite AR app, but it 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 didn't. You had to go looking for the um, the downlink frequency. So let's let's see if there's anything else coming up. Ooh, we have one there. That's getting fairly close. Now with the um, downlink downlink frequency. It's one of those things you need a computer so that you can do it manually, but it's best to use a computer because of the Doppler effect. And basically, let's so zoom out a touch. Basically, what that is is you have to either tune up or tune down depending whereabouts you are. Uh, I have seen one video is liking it to uh, a police siren. So let's say you're you're stood in the street about here and you hear the police siren coming in over here and as it gets towards you it gets louder the frequency changes so it's on top of you then it starts going down that's basically one way of looking at it it's uh, if, if you've got a handheld I mean I've got this uh, Bofang which I've not really used since I've had it because I'm going to study for my license soon if you're using them you have to keep money tuning up and down if you're lucky enough to have one that can be controlled by a computer, it's even better. Uh, I'm not sure what software controls it. You know, it's best just to Google that one, so... Um, so we just had a low-flying helicopter. Well, yes, so... Um, that's, that's basically the app. You have got other modes. Um, you have got a little... Uh, timeline at the bottom when they should be passing over and there's one one thing which I've got to mention if you're using this at night you have nighttime mode which isn't too bad to be honest supposedly it makes things um makes things easier to read at night when you're not being blinding yourself by the uh Elimination of the screen anyway But yeah, that, that's basically it. That's the um, Little review of the heavens above app It's available for free on the uh, Google Play Store or there's a paid version uh, I'm not sure if there's one for the Apple iPhone, but if there is I'll, I shall link it below I also like to say apology for the um, Lack of videos recently. I have been working and I've just got over cold, so um should be back on track fairly soon, he says. Ha ha. I also noticed that my subscriber count has gone up quite recently, so big thank you to those new subscribers and those who have continued to have subscribed. And that's about it for this video. Um, if this video is useful to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, any comments or suggestions, leave them below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can on any um, comment suggestions or even if you just comment. And until next time, thanks for watching and 70 freeze. Just a quick addition to this video, which I forgot about. You have an alarm mode. So, um, if you want to know when, uh, let's say, the International Space Station is passing over, it will give you a notification. I'm not not sure what the alarm would sound like, but I imagine it's some beeping or screeching noise. So yeah, that that is the other feature which I forgot to mention. And until next time, again, seventy threes.